history of our city has always been linked with the sea. And where the sea is, there are sailors and fishermen in the need for training. In response to this need, the Far Eastern State Technical Fisheries University was founded in 1930, and the first academic building was located in downtown Vladivostok. Today, the Far Eastern State Technical Fisheries University continues the tradition of maritime and fishing education, fulfilling the important mission of personnel training for the fishing industry. Our university is the main educational institution for the industry in the Russian Far East. The university is a unique institution in Russia. It has a large infrastructure which includes the university campus, academic buildings and dormitories, a research and production base, a plant for deep processing of fish and marine species, a marine area of 1,000 hectares, and a coastal area of 20 hectares for aquaculture, the training and production fleet, which includes the sailing ship Balada, trawlers, and processor trawlers. The university has branches in Nakhodka, Slavyanka, Nevelsk, Tobolsk, and offices in Russian Far Eastern regional cities. The university provides all levels of professional education, elementary, intermediate and advanced, bachelor's and master's degrees, and also offers training at the highest levels, including PhD and similar degrees. The university has a doctoral council for dissertation defense. Today, the university has more than 150 programs at all levels. The education process involves more than 700 teachers, 1,400 staff, and a total of 15,000 students. Over its 82-year history, the university has trained more than 100,000 senior professionals in the fields of ichthyology, fisheries, conservation and reproduction of living aquatic resources, navigators, ship engineers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers for processing equipment, refrigeration, cryogenic technology, engineers, and economists. In late September of this year, Russian Minister of Agriculture Nikolai Fyodorov visited our university. He was met by the head of the Russian Federal Fisheries Agency, Andrei Krajny, and the university rector, Georgi Kim. After touring the university, the minister commented on its unique teaching laboratory and research and training bases. Institute laboratories feature modern equipment that allows for the preparation of highly qualified specialists for the Russian fishing industry. The university operates a research and production department of aquaculture located in a bay in South Bimoria. The department includes a scientific and experimental center for aquaculture, the only research educational center in the Russian Far East, engaged in the reproduction of aquatic organisms including the Far Eastern sea cucumber, scallops, and others. The university's scientists and specialists not only make significant contributions to the preservation and restoration of ecological populations of aquatic or organisms in the Primorsky region's waters, but are also engaged in industrial aquaculture. The cultivated scallops are exported to South Korea and the sea cucumbers to China. The university's students receive classroom and practical training and conduct research under the guidance of the center's experienced teachers. While preserving its traditional engineering training, our university constantly develops methods and techniques for training that meet modern production requirements. In the Training and Production Technology Center, opened in 1994 in conjunction with Japanese scientists, students and young scientists have an opportunity to develop and introduce new technologies in food production. In May 2011, at the main Russian exhibition center in Moscow, the International Fishery Exhibition Expo Fish 2011 was held, and our university was the first to introduce live Far Eastern sea cucumbers and Japanese scallops at the exhibition, as well as more than 20 seafood products from the University Training and Production Technology Center for a taste test. University achievements made a strong, positive impression on Russian Deputy Prime Minister Viktor Zubkov. Our university prepares professionals for work on fishing boats and merchant marine vessels. The university has its own training and fishing fleet, consisting of two training ships, two medium trawlers, and a refrigerator trawler. 
The university makes commercial products using biological resources such as the Pacific herring, cod, pollock, place, and mackerel in the Sea of Okhotsk, the Sea of Japan, the Western Bering Sea, Eastern Kamchatka waters, and the North and South Kuril areas. Revenue from the sale of fish products is reinvested in the educational process and scientific research. Those studying to be maritime professionals have the traditional status of university cadets. Cadets maintain a strict routine, wear uniforms, and receive full state support including food, clothing, and accommodation in comfortable dormitories free of charge. Organizational and marching drills and cadet guard duty are regulated by officers. This is not only a tradition, but a strict necessity which allows graduates to become a strong and well-coordinated crew for fishing and transport vessels. After training in our university and after unique marine practice, our graduates become true sailors. The university's crowning glory is the tall ship Palada, where students receive practical training at sea. The Palada visits many countries, including Singapore, Australia, Canada, the USA, Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, and China. The tall ship has become famous worldwide thanks to its participation in international sailing regattas and festivals in Europe, America, Australia, and Asia, where it regularly wins awards. In addition, the Palada is recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records as the fastest A-class sailing ship. During its 22-year history, the Palada has made many notable voyages. There were two round-the-world trips, the first in 1992 and the second in 2007-2008. Last year, the ship completed an international trans-Pacific expedition dedicated to the 50th anniversary of the first manned space flight and the 270th anniversary of the discovery of Russian America, now known as Alaska. During the 100-day voyage, the ship covered 11,600 miles and visited six U.S. ports, Kodiak, Sitka, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Honolulu, as well as the Canadian port of Victoria. In all the ports of call, long queues line up to greet the Palada, which APEC countries always welcome with open arms. However, the traditional route goes through the Southwest Pacific, including training voyages to China and Singapore. Under an international cooperation agreement with the Singapore Maritime Academy, every year 50 cadets from the Academy do marine practice on board the Balada, and in 2012, the agreement was expanded to include students from the Shanghai Ocean University. In the future, the number of trainees from the Singapore Maritime Academy and the Shanghai Ocean University will double. In June 2011, during his visit to Vladivostok, Russia's former president and current prime minister Dmitry Medvedev toured the Palada. Mr. Medvedev inspected the ship with great interest, praising its advanced navigation and satellite equipment. His time on board included a visit to the bridge where he stood at the helm. He also toured the cadet quarters and was impressed by their level of comfort, particularly since the Palada has the military discipline of a warship. The Far Eastern State Technical Fisheries University attaches great importance to international cooperation in the field of education. Today, the university works closely with leading universities in the Asia-Pacific region. Among the university's partners are China's Northeast Agricultural University, Dalian Ocean University, Dalian New Soft University, Shanghai Ocean University, Changchung University, Yanbian University, and others. The university also has a Center for Language and Culture of the Asia Pacific region, offering courses in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Vietnamese. As part of our international cooperation, we propose declaring the tall ship Palada a messenger of peace and a symbol of friendship for all marine and fisheries universities in the Asia-Pacific region. We are prepared to go to any port or out to sea to perform joint training voyages. In 2013, we will host a marine and fishing industries forum 
including sailing on board the Palada for forum participants. In addition, forum guests will have an opportunity to visit our cucumber and scallop cultivation facilities and sample live seafood. The visit also features an entertainment program and an opportunity to taste the best dishes of Russian and Central Asian cuisine. Dear friends and colleagues, we look forward to seeing you at the 12th Annual Asian Marine and Fisheries Forum in 2013 at the Far Eastern State Technical Fisheries University.